Long Island, Long Island, New York. Today we are located here in East Quag, and we are now currently in the Shinnecock Bay. And I've got Dominic here with me, my friend, Brian's friend as well. And today we are going clamming. I'm very excited. I've never done this before. And then also maybe we might get in some, some fluke later and um, maybe some mussels as well. So I'm very excited. We're going to be searching for these delicious clams under the water and um, hopefully we get a bunch. Let's go clamming. So apparently they do land clamming here at low tide. I'm not familiar with this process. I'm used to treading in the water. But they're using these little rakes and uh, they just rake up the clams. I guess we'll see. Never seen such a thing. Got one. I think that's a good size. I think. It's gonna be delicious. So, Doctor, you grew up where in Florida? Um, in Miami. Oh, cool. Yeah, my dad grew up down there too. Did you have a blackfish in the wintertime up here, Brian? No. Yeah, that's what they use. They use like hermit crabs and green fiddler crabs. What are you doing over here, Sizzle? What's that clamming? What are you talking about? This is clamming. I'm just being very artistic in the way I clam. <laughs> I want to write our Sizzle, but I think it's going to take all day. But I can't do that. But yeah, I'm finding a lot of clams actually. Quite a few. We've got quite a few in the bucket already, and it hasn't even been half an hour yet. And uh, I must say, it's very nice clamming on dry land. <laughs> you can see our catch here. We probably got about two to three dozen clams, so we did well in a short period of time. But what we have to do with a couple of the small ones, at least, is put them through this clam measure, and if they fall through, we have to throw them back. And then, obviously, if they don't fall through, you keep them. And so big ones like this, these two here, these are, are chowder. You call them chowders because you put them in chowder. You don't really eat them because they do get a little tough and not as delicious to eat. The ones that are delicious to eat are the little ones. And the little they are, the better. These are called seeds, these little ones. So you can see the difference. There's a big difference in the size. And uh, those are for chowder, not so good. And then these are delicious. So let's go ahead and just put these through and see if they fall through. Not a keeper. <laughs> not a keeper. <laughs> Whoa, wow. All right. I think we're going to be throwing back a lot. So you see that? He just fell perfectly and he's not falling through. That is a keeper. So we're going to keep this one. All right. For you real Long Islanders, you know, you can eat these clams right off the boat, fresh and, and, and raw. So I'm going to do that. Now, you're supposed to use a clam knife to shuck these, and I haven't done this in a million years. Uh, but it can, be real, it can be real dangerous if you don't have the proper knife, and this is not the proper knife. <laughs> All right. You got to use a clam knife. Um, but I'm going to try this. I'm going to put a rag on my hand. So it doesn't cut myself, all right? And I haven't done this in a long time. Basically, you're gonna work it in, into the edge here. You can see it, there's an edge. And just put it in there and you're gonna hold it like this. Kind of like that and just work up. Oh. Well, that one actually went pretty good. And then you shuck it all the way around. See, now, I don't want everyone yelling at me, I'm gonna cut myself. I got this thing around me. And then you get around to cut the muscle. And it should open up. Just like that, now we got a clam. Gonna do a little of this, you see? Scoop it up a little bit, and you can put a little cocktail sauce on here. Put hardcore, and just eat it up. Delicious and fresh. Yum, yum. And then you can wash it down with the land shark. Okay, here we go. Dollops of goodness, like I called uh, the scallops in my scallop video, and if you haven't seen that, I'll link it here, check it out. All right, here we go. Ooh. Bunch of sand. Lots of little bluefish. That's cool. Cocktail blue. We were just driving to our next location, and woo, now he's fighting. And <laughs> we just got all these birds working on the surface. We saw fish splashing, and I just hooked up to a fish right by the boat. And we got a little bluefish on the line. That's cool. It's like third cast. Oh, he popped. Nice try Do that? Yeah. <laughs> first cast, I, oh, I just lost him again. All right, we gotta do it again. But first cast with a topwater popper and instantly hooked up. These fish are real aggressive right now. They're so hungry, they're just following it and eating it. And then I had, I literally just hooked that fish and I had another fish come up and try to eat the lure while the other fish was still attached. <laughs> Come on, Sizzle! These fish all up. There we go. There we go. Little blue 
bluefish by hard man. <laughs> All right, flip them into the boat. Dominic's got it. Nice. We got a little two, three pound bluefish. That was fun. It's really cool when they hit those top water poppers. And I just literally hooked three, and two of them spit the hook, and then I finally hooked one and got to bring it to the boat. Come here, buddy. She got the she got the grip, yeah. the kung fu grip. Little fishy, gonna go ahead and release them. But we uh, those these are nice shark bait, as a lot of you guys know, up here in the north. Uh oh, he just got wrapped. Let me get get him out of the boat now. <laughs> he still made it over. That's plus. <laughs> We are now out of the inlet. We're right here. Oh, I got a Robin. We are right out of the Shinnecock Inlet. Actually, just right in front of the inlet here. And uh, we just dropped down to try and catch some fluke here in 25 feet of water. First drop, I got a sea Robin. I'm actually letting line out. All right. Good sign. So over here, you can see the Shinnecock store. We went on that boat last time we were in New York. And what happened, Darcy? I didn't catch a single fish. Uh, I think I caught one short. Well, you got outfished by an eight-year-old girl, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> we are just making our way back towards the inlet, and we just came across this huge school of bunker, and I don't really even know what that fish is right now, but I'm going to find out what it is and actually catch one of these. But they are schooled up right on the surface, and it looks crazy. They're so thick that they're like on the surface popping, and there's just millions of them so let's see if i can get a couple or snag one or two i don't know this is how this works but we're gonna try it oh that was easy <laughs> cool so i guess that's how you snag them to catch them for bait yeah gotcha oh wow check that out <laughs> Check that out. That's kind of cool. Now, what do you use those for, Dominic? A uh, striped bass. Striped bass? Nice. Yeah, guys, now we're on this major bunker school out here. If you know what these guys know all about, this is some prime bait action. And you can also see. I blame Dominic. I blame Dominic. We Dominic! Go we didn't go overboard. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah, Captain Ahab over here. <laughs> anyway, we have to reshoot that part. But anyway, we could see whales out here in the ocean. They feed on these bunkers. We could see a big old whale come up. Yeah. This is really quite exciting. And Darcy's having a ball, snagging them. Yes, I love to catch bait. <laughs> Darcy's favorite thing. Hook the bunker, throw them overboard, see what happens. We are now drifting through the inlet here. Ooh, he's lively. Nice. I thought I had a fish, but it looks like I was reeling up half a fish. That's what happened. Probably so that was probably a blue fish, definitely right? A blue fish. Definitely a blue fish. So I guess the blue fish hit by the tail and the uh, striped bass eat the bait by the head. So that was a blue fish. Wish I caught him. All right, we're going to transition this into having some delicious clams for dinner uh, back at the house. But you know, we catch are, and cook. Catch and cook, yeah. We got But you know, there's a great fisher here, Shinnecock. I haven't really fished here from Belport. But you know, we I got the clams, no problem. I, I wussed out on the mollusks, it was too the mussels, it was too too cold. Yes. We got some bluefish. Yeah. We, we uh you know there's the fluke. Saw in, the bunker, that was cool. Yeah, the big thing of bunker. I don't really see that too often. Yeah. Uh, we got a bunch of bluefish bites in the inlet and almost got a big striper. And uh, so you know it's really great. And uh well, a big big thanks to Nick. If you guys don't big know shout out Dominic, Thank uh you. <laughs> we went we were in first grade together, so I've known him for like over 40 years. And in high school, we worked in a deli together, Bellboy Deli. And now mm -hmm. uh, he's in law enforcement here in Suffolk County. Uh, so we want to thank him for his service. And uh, hopefully he'll get down to Florida soon. But thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Pleasure thanks hanging out with you me. again. Yeah. When he and, comes to Florida, we're taking him fishing. Yeah. So, so. you know, tip a tat there. And, uh, yeah. and we're going back to the house, have some land sharks, and uh, back to the house with some clams. Can't wait to uh, cook some delicious clams. Let's get it. Catch a cook time. Let's go. We are back at the house and I got my bucket of clams right here. Now it's time for the cooking portion, but we're gonna keep this real simple. And I know there's multiple ways for you guys to eat clams. You can steam them, you can eat them on the half shell, you can eat them raw, you can put them on the barbecue. But today we're gonna keep it simple and we're going to steam them. First, we're gonna clean off each clam a little bit. 
All right, next step, we're gonna soak them in water for about 10 minutes. Dominic said that purges uh, the clams and they, they kick all the sand out, I guess. I never did that before, but we're gonna try it. And uh, he said, if you do it for more than 10 minutes, you're gonna kill them, because they're not used to fresh water, of course. I think that's fine, though, Sybil. And at the same time, I'm gonna boil some water over here. And I just have about an inch of water in there, because of course, we're gonna steam them. We were just Googling about how to steam clams, and we just saw that actually a lot of people like to put beer in their steamed clams. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this Landshark Lager oops, into the boiling water. Ooh, smells like Landshark. Whoa. Clams are all done once they're open. So they're open and they're ready to eat. And you know that some butter, so we're all set. Time to have some delicious mussels. You're just using your fingers. Clams, woman clams. I don't know why I keep messing up their name all day, but he's been calling them mollusks too. So. Mollusks. Mollusks or whatever. <laughs> clams! All right. Delicious. And basically they just popped open after we steamed them. So here we go, we got some butter right here. I'm already about five in. Really good. You guys use a fork instead. What do you think? Delicious. I've been having them my whole life. That was really, really good. And the inside of the shells are kind of pretty too. You can see here. Check it out. They're like purple. And then this little piece here is a whole piece you eat. And then you just take that off. And it comes off pretty easy. Delicious. I'm going to have one more bite real quick. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed this catch and cook. Please let us know down in the description below. But we had a beautiful day here in Long Island, and that was something completely new and different to me, so that was a really cool experience. And um, yeah, thank you to Dominic. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.